I definitely think that would be fun. Another thing, if you guys don't know, if you have an RGH, you can just kind of change your gamer tag to anything you want. It won't be like an actual change, but you can just change it because it's you know, modding, you know. And he could make it stuff like optic nade shot, phase rain, I guess pomage. You could make it alley. -A. You could make it really anyone you want, any kind of big YouTuber. Hell, he could make his gamer tag Barack Obama if he really wanted to. <laughs> and he can make his gamer tag the letter A if you wanted to. You can just get a lot of cool reactions by making it that. And, you know, he can make his gamer tag failing YouTube and he might get some reactions. That actually would be kind of funny. Going with a full party of six people and um, everybody has the exact same gamer tag. <laughs> I definitely want to do some trolling with that. You can do, he can make himself invisible. This is for Black Ops 2, by the way. He doesn't have Black Ops 3 for the 360. He plays on Xbox One, which I don't blame him. The 360 version of Black Ops 3 is just so tuned down. It's so much worse than the Xbox One version. Some I've been having a lot in Black Ops 3 on the 360 has been lagging out of games. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, God, if I turned on that guy. But I've been getting, basically, it's like a host migration. Sometimes a gun will just glitch out when you're shooting. It'll just keep on shooting. It's one of the most annoying things on the planet Earth to me. To me. And, oh, Razorback. Give me it, give me it, give me it. I do not have this gun unlocked, guys, and I want to use it a little bit. Hopefully I get a chance to here. I don't like this gun. It's not all that strong, but it's really accurate. It, it's reasonably strong. It's like an SMG should be. It's kind of strong at close range. I'm trying to do some trolling on Black Ops 3, and I just haven't had any luck with it because there's no um there's no forced game chat in SMD, which I personally should, think should be a thing, and I can understand why they would change it because you know you play with your friends, and it's kind of annoying that you know when you die every single time you can't talk to them, or you if you're playing with multiple friends, you can't actually just invite someone to a private chat. That's not even an option. And, you know, it'd be kind of nice to go in with a full party. I think it should be Force Game Chat because Force Game Chat is the reason everybody wanted to play S&D to begin with. But, you know, since you're forced to talk to people, everybody seemed to have a mic. Like, 99% of the time, everybody in the whole lobby would have a mic in Black Ops 2. Everybody would be talking. It would just be a fun time for the most part. These headshots are coming in hot. you guys been enjoying Black Ops 3? For me, it's like the kill streaks. I feel like, really need to be buffed. They still need to buff the stock on assault rifles. I think the maps are overall pretty good. They're not like COD Ghost or Advanced Warfare, just way too big map. The specialist abilities, I'm not really sure what to think of them yet. I don't think they're so overpowered or you just get them too often that it ruins the game. I personally think it adds to the game. Combat focus is so much fun for getting kill streaks. This uh, psychosis ability, I'm going to be honest, I'm not too crazy about it. It doesn't last very long. It doesn't really seem to be too effective. People can tell you apart from your clones. And, oh, one thing I should test, though, my friend said that he actually got 100 points for shooting his own clone. I don't know if he was trying to troll me, but that would actually help you get killstreaks so easily. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the differences between Black Ops 3 on the 360 and uh, current-gen consoles. So, I mentioned this in my other video, but I forgot a few things. There's actually no gold or diamond camo on the last-gen consoles, which I just think is really stupid. Like, I understand a lot of things can't be in it, you know, gunsmith, paint shop, or whatever you know, the campaign, all that kind of stuff. I can all understand that. But gold camo. Every other game has had gold camo. What's so damn special about Black Ops 3 that I can't even have gold camouflage? And Diamond as well. You'll get all of your challenges. I've heard many of my friends say this. They've, you know, completed all the challenges. They should have gold camo. And it just doesn't exist in the game. And I don't know if there's even going to be DLC for old gen. So, I don't know. Hopefully I can get a job or something somehow. Maybe make some money from YouTube. Actually be able to earn enough money for a next-gen console, and uh, my video where I was talking about, you know, you guys trying to help me out if you could, um, I actually took my PayPal link down because it had some personal information there that I did not want to disclose to you guys, so, you know, if you want to actually help me out financially, you know, just hit me up on Twitter or something, hit me up with a follow, ask me to follow you back, you know, DM me or something, I don't know if you guys even really want to help me, that would be cool if you did, but one thing I honestly didn't know is like how hard it actually is to talk and try to play a game at the same time like normally when you're doing a commentary a regular one and you're just kind of talking it's a little bit challenging sometimes you know I'll kind of stutter over my words slur words a little bit I really have a problem with talking too fast idea for a challenge video where it was going to be like a KD over GPA challenge and to be honest with you guys my grades are higher than Snoop Dogg right now I think I have a 3.9 GPA a 96 point something average it's like about a 97 and I think that would be kind of cool challenge, except for the fact that I'm really not very good at this game at all. And I feel like I completely failed, but maybe you guys would like to see it. Oh, picking up some kills. Let's go. Alright, I'm going to test this out now. Can I shoot my own thing? No, I can't. I mean, you can shoot them, but it doesn't give you points. Okay, my friend is mentally challenged or something, if he thinks that. So leave a comment down in the comment section below. You know, what do you guys want to see for me for a thousand sub video? Damn, that, that thing's fast. 
What do you guys want to see for a thousand subscriber video? Do you guys want to see a Q&A, a face reveal, any other suggestions? Just leave me a comment. Leave a like if you guys want to see more videos like this or if you want me to just stick with regular commentary. Let me know that too. Hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Failing YouTuber Marvin. Follow me on Twitter. The link will be down in the description below. Like, the, like if you enjoyed. If I didn't already say it, subscribe for more. Peace out.